This is the Palestrina stitch used in hand embroidery. It creates a knotted textured line. You can see it in red in the photo here. And we're going to work it from left to right on the fabric. And you can see that I've drawn a line. What I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of the fabric from above the line to below the line and pull my needle through so that I have a diagonal stitch there. And then going from the top, I'm going to pass underneath that diagonal stitch. And this will create two little arms that stick out there. I'm going to pass from the top down underneath the top arm and really just between those two arms right into the middle over my working thread and pull through. And that creates the palestrina stitch knot. So we'll do that again, picking up a little bit of fabric above and below the line, pull through, creating a diagonal line, and then pass underneath that from the top, and then pass again from the top underneath just the top arm so that you're coming up between those two arms created by the stitch. Pass over the working thread and pull through. So again, down above the line, and then up in the fabric below the line, picking up just a little bit of fabric, and then passing from the top, go underneath the diagonal stitch, and then passing from the top again, go underneath the first arm. You can see uh, pulling that back, the two arms, and you're just going right through that passage between the two of them. So pass through there, cross over the working thread, and pull through. You can also stab the stitch by just taking your, your needle to the back of the fabric above the line and bringing it to the front below the line. Then again, pass under the stitch from the top, and then go back around and pass under the first or the top arm between the two arms formed over the working thread and pull through. If you keep your thread in a loop on the fabric, you don't really have to move it underneath your needle. You can just come up within the loop of your working thread. So pass under the diagonal, then up again to pass between the two arms, over the working thread, and pull through. And we'll do it one more time. This time we'll sew it. So pick up just a little bit of the fabric, pull through, pass under the diagonal, pull through, then pass from the top underneath the first arm or between the two arms created by the stitch over the working thread and pull through. To end, just take your needle to the back. And that is the Palestrina stitch. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.